I ain't record sound or talk anything like that. But I'm up in the store right now. I'm about to go ahead. I don't know about grab some. I know we need water. I'm probably about to grab this big thing of water right here. I'm just gonna scatter around for a second, see if I want or need anything else before I cash this check real quick. You feel me? You know how we do. Chill all day here, day. Excuse me. I got a huge variety of stuff in here, bro. Oh, they do carry the... They do carry the clean popcorn in there. I got a whole bag. I ain't gonna touch it. I ain't gonna touch that no time soon. Bro. I'm gonna figure out what I want. I'm gonna hit y'all when I hit to the crib, though. All right, I'm about to grab no snacks, though. I'm gonna catch y'all. Got to the crib. I'm gonna try these mozzarella and uh, marinara and mozzarella pizza flavor puffs. Seeing here watching the banger, though, right? So, look, I gotta tell y'all some shit, man. About this part in particular, right? These Cheetos basically burn the fuck out of the back of my gums. They're like, oh, it's a lawsuit, it's a lawsuit. Yeah, it's true. But knowing me, it's cool. Because you know what's worse than a lawsuit? Cutting off your deadline, my nigga. Cutting your water. You will never, ever get no love from me. Your brand will never, ever get no love from me. Because, nigga, by myself, in the future, and now, I'm a billion-dollar product, bro. Yeah. So, just because you selling shit like that, that's doing that to people's mouths and shit, giving people's nauseous headaches, and, you know what I'm saying, fucking up their gums, you can't get no love from me, bro. So, I recommend nobody to go fuck with this brand. I will continue to show you. Me trying it, but I don't wreck nobody. I don't wreck nobody to eat their bread, uh, food, period, just because what it did to my gums. And you probably not as tough as me. But the next day I woke up, I had the worst headache. One of the worst headaches in my life. And I'm not bullshitting. I'm not my gas and shit for no camera. I always felt like this. But I was waiting till this video come up and edit it to tell y'all this. Don't try none of their brands. I tried it. You know what I'm saying? I was a risk factor. And I should be the last one, just like that. Share it to other people that had ate in their brands and got their mouth fucked up, got anything else fucked up, their gums, their teeth, whatever. You feel me? I don't. You don't get no support from me. Your, your water is cut. I see your brand. I'm throwing it on the ground. I'm stepping on it and spitting on it. I don't care. One hundred. I see a little line. Look like a little white line back there. It's all right there from my, from my cheekbone, all right there to the white, to that white line. I know my lips crusty as fuck, but know that. To that white line that's behind my teeth. It burned like that. This one, the only one still here. My other side healed up. That's what I'm talking about. It's, what, it's in case people think I'm just trying to say shit for a camera, bro. Y'all gonna realize real soon, I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm not no clout chaser or I'm not no money. Nigga, just like that. Tell y'all how these taste. Heavy on the marinara sauce. The cheese taste is like kind of towards the end. I think you eat the puff. I get these like a, but season them well with the marinara sauce or seasoning sauce, whatever. I get this like a, these are cool. These are cool seven. I get these. Can y'all see that shit? 
It's like levitating in the sky and plus it's going the wrong way. That's not no plane, bro. I don't believe in coincidences. I don't know what the fuck that is. Probably a saucer, a flying saucer or something. That bitch still levitating in the sky. High as fuck. Nah, that shit ain't fooling me, bro. Get some other buster ass niggas with that. I know that ain't no plane, bro. I don't know what that is. Probably that shit they using to put in the scars. Bro. We outside right now, bro. Talk about, you see her room? Bro, I was sleep till 12 today, bro. Cause I had to, I woke up in the, like early this morning, I was editing this shit. And I fell asleep and I never woke up. But other thing is that flying saucer, nigga, or whatever that shit was, I was putting shit in the air. I told y'all the niggas was up to some, up to some weird shit, bro. I told y'all they was up to some weird shit. I know y'all probably can't hear me. All these fucking cars keep going by, bro. I'm about to throw a rock at somebody's shit. But, yeah, I told y'all them niggas is up to some weird shit. It's not capping. And, bro. <clears throat> Solid talk, man. Just hopped in here. Really good workout. You know what I'm saying? I did everything and beyond. Forearms. Triceps. I didn't do biceps today. Super cardio. Abs. Yeah, I did everything <laughs> you could think of, bro. I just hop in here. No sweat action going on right now. Only ones in here. Hope it is. I hope it's like that majority of the session. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm finna eat this banana. Let me catch y'all. And the next clip, bro. Later. Last man standing business. Y'all know what it is. Got the food. I ain't never really told y'all what we got. I just got the food. Mm -hmm. Oh, shut up real quick, y'all. See how they got their little sparkles on there? That's the that's the special season there or something. It's really, really good. They got that on the fries too. And the bread just regular bread. But that is fire. <laughs> That's really fire. Yes, sir. Let me know how it tastes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me know how it tastes, Pop. All right. Hey. Let's get this food with you start. <laughs> it's time. I got something stuck in my throat, man. Nigga been sick, bro. Dang, no knackers in here. A little bit of ass ketchup. I don't want to eat that shit. All right, boom. Fire, look at that. Be completely honest, it's not my first time trying this, but I want to try it again just to see if it's cracking. It's like my third time having this. Feel me? So I didn't have it long enough to know this is one of my favorite restaurants. This place is called Z Taste of Chicago. Boom, pop it up right here. No, I'm gonna let y'all know how much it's rang me. $9.99 a plate. If you get the six wings, that's three more dollars. You know what I'm saying? So was that $10.99, $11.99, $12.99 a plate. I got two plates. I got one for my pot, one for me. That ran me about like I ordered it, so that ran me about like $30, $30, you know, $30 plus. You know what I'm saying? Plus tip and all that shit, right? $32, you feel me? Keep it 100. Yeah, I did tip $32. It's only down the street, nigga. Get off my back. It's only down the street. But let's get this shit started. So look at the fries, bro. Got the special seasoning on the fries, too. Don't forget to say your blessing. Amen. <clears throat> I think I'm getting sick, bro. Like, my throat is starting to clog up and shit. <clears throat> yeah, that shit getting bad, but fuck that, though. They ain't stopping nothing. Not my grind. Let's go. Stop! I got the crack on the fries. Y'all see it right there.
I feel like they fries is better last time. These fries right here were sitting. You know what I'm saying? Definitely better last time. These ones, you can tell these ones are sitting a little bit. Cool. I ain't sure, bro. Try the bread. Regular schmegular ass bread. Damn, they gave me two slices of these bitch. They gave me two slices of bread. How the fuck the bread got more flavor than the, than the fries, bro? I guess they did throw some crack sauce on the fries, though. Let me. Just toasted bread. Nothing special with a little bit of crack sauce on there. I call it a special sauce crack sauce because it tastes like this one spot I had that they might be under. My mom used to always go to the east side to get it. It wasn't called this place. It wasn't Z's Taste of Chicago. It was like some other place. But they might be under them because I think they're using the same crack sauce. You feel me? Which I would try that soon. Give me some time. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some shit together. Then I'll get that. You feel me? I'll try that soon. It's going to be coming real soon. But look at this wing, though. I see all the crack sauce on there. Oh my god. Break off is cool. Ah. I keep a band with y'all. Only thing I probably don't hear is probably only fresh. What's the chicken wings itself? And Pastor says, me say this is fire. They probably gave him all the fresh shit. Like, that's fucked up. Yeah! I'm the nigga reviewing everything. They gave Pops all the fresh shit. Man, that's some bullshit they did, man. But, only thing on my plate probably fresh, bro, is just the wings. It's the wings itself. Bread, you can't really tell with the bread because bread gets soggy fast, fast as fuck, even if it's toasted. It gets soggy way, way super quick. But these wings is fire, y'all. Go try that shit. I recommend this. I'll get this plate right here at seven. The wings carried it like a lot because if the wings is garbage, this should be a whole two. So I'll get this plate at seven out of 10. If everything is fresh, Fuck it. I'll give it a good 9.5. Feel me? I gotta have it a few more times to give it a 10. Like, five guys, I'll give five guys a 10. You know what I'm saying? Probably like five guys, I'll give it a 10. Because I have five guys plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? But this place is still kind of new to me. It's only my fourth time having it. And plus, I want my pops to try it. Because, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to get wing stop. But I was like, you, you ain't never had this spot. You sure? And he was like... And he was like... Fuck it, go ahead and order it. I said, okay, cool. And I ain't gonna lie. What's it worth for $30? Hell yeah, you damn skippy. These wings is fire. They hold me on the uh, the bread and the, and the fries. It's cool, y'all. I ain't sure enough. So, what I tell you all? I blatantly demolished this shit. Told you the wings was fire. They hold me on the fries and the bread, but I'm still chilling. And with these little bitty ass napkins. And they had the nerve to give me a little bit of ketchup. If you're going to give a nigga ketchup, give a nigga a lot of ketchup, though. You know, that's all I'm saying for real. But yeah. Man, I'll catch y'all next clip. Show y'all what it looked like before I mix it up. I got bananas. I got the powdered peanut butter. And I got whipped cream. I'm about to mix it up and tell y'all how it tastes. Believe me, after you eat a scrumptious meal like we just did right there, you're going to want to have a scrumptious dessert, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go ahead and try this. Ain't nothing special going on. I ain't changing no colors, nothing. Go ahead and try it.
The batch is fire. Man. I'm not just saying that. I might be on to something, bro. When you ain't got no desserts in the fridge, and you want to make a good dessert, this is one of the moments, my nigga. This is one of the moments. I don't know why I killed this shit. This reminds you of uh, fruit salad. Without the dye, without all the different types of fruit in it. Just got bananas, some peanut butter, and just whipped cream, something simple. This is fire. I'm not just saying that. I'm, I'm killing this here. I admit, I could have went easy on the whipped cream. I had to put this much whipped cream in the bowl. I wasn't just thinking. I was just, oh, God. <laughs> All right, bro. Y'all seen me eat some food? And then beyond whatever, I decided to match up with this little shit right here. Gym clips or whatever. David Nomar the Cut, make sure y'all subscribe right here. We on the road to a thousand subscribers, so make sure y'all show love. I'm dragging y'all here each and every day. You know what I'm saying? I watch and support my stuff. Go ahead. It won't hurt, you know, to give a nigga a subscribe, a comment, a share, a like. You know what I'm saying? Just, just show that you support the movement. Support what we doing. And just keep pushing our message, you feel me? And just keep on growing as a fam, as a family in the gang, whatever y'all want to call it, the Omar gang. I know I got Omar gang up there, but we still a family, you know what I'm saying? Mafia shit. You feel me? I'm gone. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. 100.